Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to uh, Keystroke Live. This is, in fact, the last one of the year. Uh, we're going to be taking the next two weeks off because of the holidays. So I hope everybody has a great holiday. And, uh, and today we're talking about tax rate changes. I know those of you in California are facing this, and there's probably other places around the country. But you know, since we have a business presence in California, we're having to change our tax rates. And uh, so there's probably a lot of other people. So it's probably a good thing that we're talking about this today. Feel free to refer your customers to this. Uh, this video, it will be posted on the YouTube site. And um, we do have a little uh, PDF flyer, and the help screens are great, too when it comes to tax rate changes. Remember, Keystroke Live is same time, same place, uh, every week. Uh, and as I said, we're not going to have one till after the first of the year, but I'm glad everybody's here this morning. So let's talk about tax rate changes. Well, it kind of looks like Part of this got cut off. Sorry about that. Uh, the thing that's important, you can change your tax rates as soon as the tax rate change is announced. You don't have to wait until the day of the change or the end of the business day before the change. As soon as you find out, get it changed. Um, it's going to be a whole lot easier, a whole lot less stressful. Once you've changed it, it's going to automatically become effective on the correct date. Remember, you always want to edit your existing formulas to add an end date and add a new formula. Those formulas are date sensitive. Do not, please do not, just go in and change your existing formulas to the new tax rate. Uh, because what's going to happen, somebody goes to edit an old invoice or even take a look at it, it's going to want to charge more tax. You really don't want to do that. So um, make sure you put an end date on your new formula, on your old formula, and then add a new one. So there's, as I said, there's details available in the help files. Um, we do have a little flyer we can send out to you. You can refer back to this video, which should be posted on our YouTube site. Um, it's pretty easy to do, and I'll show. We'll go through this step by step uh, in Keystroke. But just as a reminder, you're going to go to Configuration Manager, go to the Tables menu, and select Tax Districts. That's where your formulas are held in tax districts. You can get there other ways, but that's going to be the most straightforward. Select the appropriate district or districts and press Enter or F3 to edit. You might have only one district you need to change. You may have multiple districts. So it's important that you and your customers kind of know how the taxes are set up. To edit an old formula, you can use F3. Uh, to add a new formula, you're going to use F2 or insert. Make sure you kind of pay attention to the tax code and the settings in the formulas of the previous one because you're going to use all the same information on the new one. It's very important. You can use tab or click to the date range field. On your starting dates, uh, on your starting dates, it's important that you remember the starting dates start at 12:01 a.m. Uh, you want to make sure, and then your ending dates always end at midnight. So Keystroke's automatically going to take that into consideration. So uh, 
once you've changed all of this, you want to test it. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So uh, let's go to Keystroke here. Here we go. So we're already in Configuration Manager. Whoop. Let's see. Nobody can see my screen here, so there we go. How's that? Okay. Tough morning. We're in Configuration Manager in Keystroke. So you go to change your tax rates, you go to the tables menu, you go to tax and districts. This is our sample data. We've got several districts set up. The only one that has a percentage is our state and local. Our bottle deposit is a dollar amount. So we are going to change our state and local taxes. So you can click on it, hit F3 on it, hit enter on it. You can already see here where we have changed the tax rate in the past. It was good at 7.75% through some weird date in 2014, which is kind of unusual. And as you go down the list, then starting the next day, it went up to 8.25. Well, we're going to kind of be like California, which is unusual. Our tax rate's going to lower a little bit. It's going to go to 8.0. So the first thing you want to do is end the existing tax rate on the date you want. So I'm going to hit each one. It's going to end on the end of the year. Notice I can put 99. It'll automatically figure out what the last month of the year is. So I need to do that on all of my formulas because uh, you know, the bottle deposit formulas also, that's taxing the, bo the item as well as the bottle deposit. So we want to make sure and uh, end all of these formulas. Okay. Kind of looks they've they've all been ended. Note might need to keep track. I've got a T, a one, two, three, and four. So once these have ended, we're going to add new ones. You can do F2 or insert. We're going to start with the T. We're going to 8.0 instead of 8.25. It's going to start on the first of the year. All my other settings are the same. It's going to go way out into the future. So we're going to do 8%. Uh, we're going to have to do all of our tax codes. So let's do the next one. Whoops. We're going to do single bottles, 8.8% starting on the first of the year. Save that. Okay, I can kind of look down through these now. I've got all of my tax codes. Everything's lowered to 8% as of the first of the year. So you just save all of this. Notice for right now, when you look at your tables, it's still going to say 
because that's the current rate. If you go in here after the first of the year or if you change the date on your computer, which I don't recommend, it'll go to 8%. To test this then, go to Sales Manager. You don't have to bring up a customer, just make sure they're a regular you know, sales tax. And you're going to change the date. Change the number to one, change the date to um, sometime after the tax rate changes. Click OK. You're going to get a warning the dates in the future. Don't worry about it. We're going to proceed. We are not going to change the number counter for future sales. We're just testing. Notice you already see this. It already says 8% instead of 8.25. You know, we can check it, get out our calculator, figure out, okay, on $10.18, uh, our tax is 81 cents. And we can, once we verify it, all we have to do is clear the sale. Now, if I go and um, put that same item in today, it's still going to it's going to show the 8.25 percent. And if you go back to previous transactions, they're all going to be fine. Your new transactions are going to be fine. So the big thing to remember is. Put an end date on your existing tax formulas and add new tax formulas with the new rate. As soon as you find out the tax rates are changing, you can do it right now and you'll be ready for the tax rate change once it happens. Uh, so please try to remember that. The biggest thing we see is people go in and just Look at their formulas and change them. That causes problems. So we do have details available, step-by-step -step instructions in the help files. We can send you a PDF. It's a lot of things. It's pretty easy to do. You just have to remember to put an end date on the old one. Add a new formula with the new start date and test it. Once it's tested, you can clear the transaction. You're all ready to go. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions, anybody? No, we're all good today. Okay. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. Sorry we had a little bit of a technical difficulties, but everybody have happy holidays. It's snowing like crazy up here, so winter has finally come. Well, I'll see you after the first of the year. Bye-bye. Thanks, Lynn.